Ladies and gentlemen, it's match three. We're in the quarterfinals. It's Syrif here with Dave and Lasher. Mike, how are things going? We saw some amazing games. Man, definitely some of the greatest games I have seen. This tournament's just been packed with really good teams. Absolutely. We're seeing now um, an interesting amount of teams. Moving on to the quarterfinals, some minor upsets. Let's go over the sort of the, the um the bracket here. Uh, actually, I, I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up on stream with the overlay and everything. Oh yeah, awesome. look at this. But it looks like we've got Absolute Legends moving forward to face You Are the Future Charity. You saw Absolute Legends earlier today. Logan X Ritlock versus uh, being OP is hard. Uh, Logan X Ritlock actually beat Academy of the Mist. That is not an easy fight, and they did it 2-0. Looks like we're waiting on the results from Murder Inc. versus Not Sure Serious Business. And uh, DPS, my wife IRL, took a 2-1 victory over Last Resort to, to play the winner of that. Now, however, we have the this team up. Soon. Okay, I guess they're gonna go go, but we have a, a team. Sue Stolen My Cat Who versus Soak Red. Yeah, Last Team Who, who easily strategy. gave me the most confusion I've had all day. Alright, so both teams stacking up their swiftness, getting ready to go. We're actually seeing quite a similar team composition from both sides. We've got an Ellie, a Guardian, and a Thief on both sides. And from there is when they start to differentiate. We've got a Mesmer instead of a Necromancer on red side, and a Ranger instead of a second Elementalist. Absolutely, we're watching the blue team go, uh, go one to keep and uh, three for the back of keep here. Or in with Cade, watching sort of Vexius taking the home point for uh, for blue, but uh, looks like Blind Guardian is going to go in on the henge. Let's watch him as he sort of attempts to take down Vexius. No, let's go back with the blue team as they stealth. They're coming in, and it's a trap, guys. They've gone in. Look, Lil Sunny has been mowed, but it won't matter as Zeus is going to go on on Photom House here. Lil Leah, of course, is trying to get people uh, damaged. Looks like we're getting a lot of interesting damage here. Anor Guardian's gonna be bunkering, trying to do a lot of work here, but it looks like uh, Odom House popped in Thieves Guild to run away on Vice, chasing him down. There's a lot of action going on here. There's a, one of the members of Red Team, Alice Windstorm, is gonna take on Spawn here. There's so much crazy stuff going on here. Looking at Cade with Lil Sunny going, uh, going up against pretty much every member of the Red Team here. Oh man. Oh man, crazy amount of damage coming out from both teams. We saw uh, Lil Sunny actually went down first very quickly. He was immediately rezzed. And then we saw Lil Leia and Photom House quickly fall after. So both teams a little less on the sustainability side. So it's going to come down to really quick fights here instead. Blue team does manage to take the commanding lead over the keep to start, however. And we are tied up in score. But blue team will quickly follow up as they've got two to one point advantage at the very moment. Is Kate is going in on the mine for a 3v1. Let's see how long he can last over there. That's true. We've got three of the members of the blue team, the team Soak Red, trying to take on the Chieftain. And of course, Lil Sunny, or Sunny rather, finally taking out Blind Guardian to secure the keep 100%. We're in with Cade now, watching him stealth and sort of roll away here. Wow, Everything is going away. crazy. He's got the great disengage that comes with, with his build. We saw last time the amount of, of endurance he can can generate for himself pretty much on command here and he's gonna be met up with by uh, three members of the opposing team but he's gonna juke them coming back to the mine he's gonna face Alex Windstorm and she has no idea that he's back look at him go he's dropping some crazy damage here and it looks like uh, Alex Windstorm and her cat here and have no idea uh, how to deal with this here comes Lil Leia who's gonna support this um, but I don't know if they can take down Cade man yeah Cade just Oh, all over the place, so mobile, and they're just not really able to knock him down. Hold Let's say he's thought, having man. a little bit of trouble, though. We've got Sorry. Vexius uh, getting taken on by two people at Henge, and Dark Guardians going with him. He's being joined by Photom House, the thief. They can easily take off uh, Vexius off the point, but here comes Zombify popping his Jagged Horror and going into his form. And he's going to do some damage and run back and you just kind of jut in and out here to do damage and our guardian is trying to res his teammate but they're both in the down state here Ve Vexius is going to get the stomp off on the guardian and here's Cade to just whirl around look at him how fast that guy is he's going to get popped out and Vexius is going to recap no problem meanwhile at the beach we're seeing the only kind of living members from the red team here being taken on by Cade let's go in with Cade as he goes up uh, it's worth knowing the blue team is up 200 points to 116 this is no one's game yet as we're only about 4 minutes in but they have two control nodes and they're getting additional points from killing everybody. 
Yeah, Blue Team managing to keep the close in center point. Guardian Bunker staying on the keep while they keep the hinge. Cage is pulling off a huge distraction tactic. He always has at least two people trying to chase him around and get him, but he's just so mobile again once with the double sword dagger sets. You know, watching Cage is like, if I can just an analogize to StarCraft, sort of. It's like watching a Dark Templar and a Stalker combine. He's literally invisible most of the time, and he's able to blink pretty much everywhere. He's actually not even able to be, like, hit most of the time. That'd be a pretty busted StarCraft 2 uh, unit, yeah. Absolutely, and he's gonna go in on Blind Guardian, a lot of blue here to deal with him, and it looks like Alice Windstar is coming off the point, and so is, uh, what looks to be Lil Leah. They need to come in for a big-ass team fight here. Excuse my language, looks like an Adoric Guardian is gonna go in on Zombify on the point, it Looks and Spawnier is finally coming back. Let's see if someone disengages to try and deal with that. They have their Thief, Photom House, on the bottom of the map, who's gonna try and back gap Henge. He can actually, um, do that, and then warp over to Spawnier, um, um, and just deal with that. It looks like a red team, however, is going to get kept away from the point. Most of their uh, fight is here on the staircases next to it. Lil Sadi is going to come and try and stomp on uh, an Adora Guardian, or maybe he's going to let him bleed out. The oh, guy man. doesn't even try to res himself. He could have gotten some points in on that if he dared. But Henge is being decapped by Photom House. Here comes Vexius and the Fire Elemental to try and stop him. He's just going to run away very wisely, realizing that, okay, I can go and uh, shoot this person. I can go deal with Chieftain. He doesn't really need this point yet. Yeah, actually, red team for a brief moment there did manage to take two points. Unfortunately, did not manage to keep them on. If they had a bit better management over their numbers, they did lose two members at the keep. They might have been able to pull a bit of a comeback into this game. And here comes a fight at the mine. Zeus and Zombify are here to deal with everyone from the red team. All members that are currently there are down. And here comes the rest of red team, realizing that their entire stake in this game is up for grabs. If blue team takes this point, they will have triple capped and have a pretty much total map control. Vexi is taking on Udahine. He's not going to be contested. He will not be denied those 25 points. The t lead here is ridiculous. 363, 365, 174. Blue team can actually take this if Zeus stays alive. He's going to res Cade, who is in here. But here comes a stop on him. Nope. He's going to get feared. Cade stays alive. Little Sunny and Zombifier in the downstate as well. But here comes Sunny, who's managed to rally, and so is Zombifier. They can come res Cade if, if they're able to. But no, Cade dies. Little Sunny's getting on point, bunkering like a good bar bunker guardian should. And Zeus opting to pull back. Back, maybe deal with the spawn here and he's gonna go to keep oh man yeah blue team does go down here but they managed to stall for so much time while red team had to pull all of their efforts just trying to take back this mine you know only a few members from blue team wiping it's not a total team wipe they're not gonna be forced into like so the waiting for everyone to res so uh, it was very wise of Zeus to sort of disengage their blind guardian is taking on Vexius with Photom house here at the center but uh, Vexius is kind of been like at the same block uh, even if they lose this point, look, only so much of uh, Red's resources here are devoted to taking on Spawner to come back in this game. That's exactly what they need, but Cave's going to come behind them. Watch, he's going to steal this. He's going to try and steal it, rather. Here comes the warp. Here comes the steal. Oh, no. Yes, they steal it. Warp, 83 points at 209. Cade with that clutch Spawner steal. He's going to come and support on the keep here. Bodum House in the downstate. Blind Guardian just now getting stomped. This is totally an uh, aggressive stomped game for the blue team. Look at that. Over almost 300 points in the, the gap there. Vexius and Zeus on top, that double Ellie combo. Oh my yeah, god. Just showing Mike. complete dominance here with the great steel stab on this round here, just closing it out. Red team not having control over their objectives or points this game. You know, when you go for those those creature um, kills, you you risk that so greatly. You really need to do it in a fashion so that the other team doesn't know you're doing it. If you have so many people over on that point, they, and they know that you're not in the points because you're not capping them, then they they can go steal that just like Cade did. Cade doing an amazing job. Cade, so good. We're going to be right back with game two, guys. I'm Syref, and with me is Demon Lasher. We'll be right back.